everybody, we are on part four of the quest for the perfect, or at least good enough, Bluetooth headset to use with the At Games uh, family of products. So far, part one, we discussed my reference headphones, the SteelSeries Arctis 3 Bluetooths, so we have something to compare to. Uh, we've reviewed the Sony WH-CH510s, and we reviewed the Anchor Q10s. Our last headset that I've purchased for this roundup, and again, this is not a thorough roundup, it's just what I could pick up and, again, go for less than $50 and try them out. These are the Cohen E7s. Uh, they go by a couple different names. I think right now they're Silensis on Amazon. In the past, I used to search for Bluetooth headsets because, well, I did, and these showed up a lot. Uh, they did have pretty good ratings, so I decided to give them a shot. They're also very inexpensive. These are $35. As you see here on the box, they even uh, tout active noise cancellation. So, what did I think of these headphones? Uh, and by the way, I did have other people try on these headphones to help give me their opinions of fit, finish, and comfort as well. And it's been voiced and everything. So these, as you see, lay flat. They've got a heck of a pad on the top there. I will say that uh, that right there is what most people have pointed out to me that they felt was the most comfortable part of this. Uh, you can hear them clacking though. I'm not sure that talks a lot to build quality for me. Uh, you see how they lay flat, but the way that they move back and forth, I it's really doesn't give me a great feeling that's gonna last for a long time. Um, but again, we're talking you know $35. These are uh, around the ears. Nice padded foam. Uh, people did tell me that these were also very comfortable, and I agree with them. These are very comfortable. Uh, in terms of features, let's look at this side here. This would be my left side. I have got no ports. There we go. Got charging port. And charging on that, let's go ahead and look at the accessories now, is via a micro USB. So not the USB-C standard that I like to have around the house, but... Again, you've got a lot of these cords laying around, I'm sure. And then we've got, comes with a standard 8th inch stereo cable. So let's go ahead and look at the other side, the right side. So right side ports, we've got your 8th inch stereo. I've got a sliding power switch. It goes from off to on to noise cancellation. And then I've got, on the outside of the cup, this triangle button here. You may be able to see it's got a plus and a minus on it and almost a light there near the top. Sorry for the glare. So, yeah, let me get a little closer there. So a minus, a plus, and uh, another switch of the tip of the triangle. What these function as, the tip of the triangle is, power, uh, is for a Bluetooth pairing and for play pause. Then you've got your minus and your plus. Now, the one thing I didn't like about this headset was the minus and the plus default to a tap or single press being previous track or next track. Uh, to do volume, you'd have to long press or press and hold. To me, that is that's just opposite of how headsets should work. I should be able to tap, tap, tap up my volume, and then when I want to go to the next track, go ahead and press and hold. So that I found a little bit awkward. Also... Uh, the sliding switch for the power. Let's get a closer look at that. Um, I feel that is going to be an easy break. Uh, slider switches versus press and holds. I see why they did it because they've got the Bluetooth and the noise cancellation. Just not sure that I think that is a sturdy um, component. How did it work with the ALU and the other At Games Legends products? Worked very good. Um, I went ahead, got online, very comfortable, sounds great. Um, I tried the active noise cancellation. I didn't hear much of a difference in terms of canceling noise around me, but it did kind of hone in the sound uh, a little bit better. So kind of like that. Again, as you can see, all that padding, very comfortable. So, uh, and you can see here, these sliders can fit variety of uh, size heads. So, uh, went into the lobby, people could hear me just fine, uh, but when I went to do the volume, at first, again, I didn't read the directions very well, I uh, didn't read them at all, 
And I, here I was, press, press, pressing, you know, short pressing this, this plus and minus, and got no volume control whatsoever. Later did read, of course, that that is a, uh, you know, long press. And at that point, it did work. So would I use these with uh, the ALU? I would. Uh, $35, they're a bargain. They're comfortable. They will work with your phone. Um, speaking of which, though, these are a single point of pairing uh, kind of device. They don't multi-pair. So if you were to pair this with your phone, then it's not going to pair with your um, ALU. You'd have to go ahead and totally unpair it and repair it with the ALU. So not so flexible in, in the sense of having it paired to multiple devices, but it is, again, only $35. So, and uh, again, I did not appreciate the volume up, volume down being a long press. It's not very intuitive, uh, not the kind of way I like to use my headphones. Uh, again, you may have different experiences, and your mileage may vary. But for $35, you can't go wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and summarize it all here rather than waste another video just for summary, summarizing. Uh, my Arctis Steel Series 3s, Bluetooth, excellent. Um, they're comfortable. They sound great. They are a little bit expensive because of their you know, features that are a little bit extra, like being able to use wired and Bluetooth at the same time. But $100, they are great if you can find them. The Sony WH-CH510s. These are going, going, going back to Walmart because of that echo right back in my ears. They are not worth it for lobby play. You've got the Q10s by Anchor. Comfortable, sound great. Um, I, I like the way that their volume buttons work, so I'm, I'm, I'm up on that. Um, and then, you've again, those are $49 on uh, Amazon. And the $35 on Amazon was the Cohen E7s that we just reviewed. So what is my take on this? What am I going to be using uh, all the time? Well, if you've watched a couple of streams, you've noticed I'm wearing one of these already for the last two weeks uh, on cam. So uh, it has won my heart for the Bluetooth headset that's going to be here in the arcade. And that is the Anchor Q10s. Again, $49 on Amazon. They sound great. They feel great. They work with my iPhone. Great. Um, and people said it sounds really, really good. So, I mean, the most comfortables were the Cohen's. Um, but I don't like the build quality as much as I like on these. Um, and I do appreciate how the volume buttons are single press on here versus long press over there. Uh, you can't go wrong with either set of headsets. But between these two... I'm choosing the Q10 as my new primary. That will be going back, and these will get their permanent place hanging on the side of my ALU. I want to thank everybody for watching these videos. Uh, if you like the content here on the channel, want to be alerted to more, feel free to subscribe and uh, ask for notifications. If you like these videos, give them a thumbs up, drop a comment, uh, you know, give me a like. Appreciate everybody watching, and I'll talk to you later.